our community champion segment for today, meet Al Aj Sulakalin Oshinberu, Chairman Ikeja Community Development Committee. <laughs> A drive, a walk into Olawiya Street of Anifowoshi community in the Keja local government area of Lagos State will welcome anyone with a loud chorus of names like the chair, number one, Omola, Erelu Abiye, and most significantly, ITA, all echoed in one man. Mr. Salakalin Oshiberu is a community activist referred to as the most responsible youth leader in his days. He presently debuted as the chairman of Anifuwoshi Community Development Association as well as Ikeja Local Government Community Development Committee which comprises of 17 CDAs. Oshinberu is a native of Oderemo in Ogun State. Born on July 11, 1966, the year Nigeria got a youngest ever head of state. He attended King's Primary School in Ajegunle, Lagos State, after which he proceeded to Ibadan to complete his secondary education in 1974. My name is Alaji Oshiberu Silukalin Olubenga, and for our family or my mother to belong truly to the government, she gave birth to me at the a fair load of local government CDA primary health center to show that she's a community person right from inception. So I did art, art in, when I was in secondary school, but I was interested in doing science. So I was advised to attend the Tenka College where I did automobile mechanics at Tenka College, Shaki, for three years. So when I came back, I graduated, I served, I did my PT at Broadcasting Corporation, your state, Radio OYO, for one year. After that, I joined Guinness as an admin officer and as, as again as a footballer. I played for them for a good three years. So after that, I now said, let me go professional. The job I truly did while I was in the college. So that's when I started my own professional job as automobile mechanics. A practicing Muslim whose watchword is service to humanity. Little wonder his community activism started earlier than he ever thought. Having single handedly raised the status of the Muslim community in Anifowoshe to the glaring eyes of both Muslims and non Muslims, it was time for him to serve the entire communal congregation. I'm a practicing Muslim, so my activities in the mosque now encourage the elders in the community that is an unfortunate community that as you serve in the community where i was given the post of the secretary of an unfortunate landlord Resident association which i had for good 13 years so realizing that the Lagos government give recognition to the cda being 40 of the local government I was appointed or elected as the CDA chairman. As a young man saddled with the responsibilities of the community welfareism and security, Oshinberu did not only discharge his duties in his first year as the CDA chairman, he won the arts of all and sundry, irrespective of the tribe, religion or age. He's a very good man, honestly. He's a very good man. Not even him alone, his wife and the children. They are very, very good. To me and the entire people in Anifuoshi, they are very, very good. Alaji Suluka Lane Oshiberu. He's a fine gentleman. I've known him for long. Uh, without exaggeration, I would say since 2000. And uh, what interests me and what I think will interest the public is that... Uh, uh, I was in the CDA before his emergence. We were doing well. It's not as if we were not doing well. But when he came, he invigorated the system much better, much more better, honestly speaking. As a young man, I thought uh, he's going to show us what you call youth restiveness. But that was not his case. 
very diligent, very humble, very honest. Most often I call him a uh, ATI. He does not even know what it means. He does not. He, he, had, he had never wanted to query me. And do you care to know what that means? Integrity, transparency, and accountability. I've known him since I came to this Anifu Oshi, and I've always been interacting with him. If there's any problem anywhere, call him any time of the day, middle of night, during the day, he's always there. He's an intelligent man, responsible man. You could rely on him, and uh, he, he, all overall, he's a gentleman. But in all this, how does his family fare and at George, their breadwinner? We didn't even used to call him by daddy. We used to call him chairman. Even he, uh, my elder brother, that's what we do address him as the chairman. So that's what we do address him as. We address him as the chairman at home. Because sometimes at night when they call him, there is community issues. Sometimes we will not even pass the night at home. We always call him, where are you? We said he's not coming at home, that there are some issues. Sometimes he might be sleeping and they just come and knock at the door. Ah, CDA chairman, there is something happening around the community. We need you. And it deprives him of his sleep. Even before we get back to bed, it will take us some time and things like that. So we just have to adapt to it. Despite everything working for him, as a successful community leader, al Aji Zulakalin Oshimberu has one unforgettable day of his lifetime as a community champion. It was a day around 1 a.m. The security guard called me. He said, Chairman, there's an issue at Oshifila Street. I said, what happened? He said, one man has just died there now. I said, what happened? He said, he can't see. Ha, ah, dead? He said, he has, he's in a pool of blood. When I got there, I saw the guy in a pool of blood. What happened? He said he doesn't know. So when I was, I will now trace the blood to the main gate of our gate, main entrance of our gate. We now discover that the guy tried to climb the gate. On the process, maybe he has drunk, and the process, the iron protector hooked his trouser. It pierced the, at the center of the, beside the property part. And it was unable, and it was on jeans. It was unable to, to free himself, or nobody came, because it, it, it was a um, isolated area, which the door, the law they had been gated, and we are not being allowed to follow that gate. But fortunately, he died. So what I did that, midnight was that I took his phone because his phone was lying beside him. I took the phone. I now used that phone to call members of his family who are not picking. Immediately I called the DPO of Man Center since there is good relationship between our administration with the police and the government has mentioned that. So we quickly called the DPO which she now said okay, we should hold on that. They will be there early in the morning. So and now I call the ballet then, I call elders that this is what is happening. His sacrifice, accountability, intelligence and transparency soon paid off when on November 7, 2017, history was made. The executive chairman of Ikeja local government area, engineer Mojit Balogun, honored him to unveil the commission and plague of one of the rehabilitated roads projects of the first 100 days in office. Out of the 114 roads that was done in the first, tenor of, uh, the first year of um, Baba uh, Akim Mambodi, one of the youngest CD benefited from the road. Yes, and they have been yearning for service of road for the past 25 years. So I know by now the community will be very happy to have Governor Akim Ambodi. It's Modukwe Aulowo and Ogunlowo Regina Kuka. It's a two CDA that they are interwoven. So that road, that 114 roads, got across two CDAs. Ogunlowo Regina Kuka and Modupe Aulo CDA. So and those are the one of the two 
youngest cities that we have, we have in the Kedja local government. So, I'm the chairman. If that has an issue, we just give thanks to God that we, the, through the advocacy of the government, governor himself, people give recognition to the CDAs, even no matter how big they are. They still submit to the principal and constitutional studies of the CDAs. And that has really boosted our own morale that if he can make a large country a special advice to the governor, why can't they? If we, are, we respond and we have a good job and we, we deliver our governance activities to the council, and one, one of these days you can say, okay, you see this, go and join this council and be the advice of the chairman. Of the, and I must tell you, it's only it's not been made. I, Elijah Shimberu, see this chairman, the 100 days of the chairman, I'm the one that unveiled Regina Coca Road being constructed by our CD, our chairman, engineer Mojid Alabi. And that will be in history of Lagos. I'm the first CDC chairman that I unveiled. My name was widely written on the, on the, on the platform that was, yes, so I commissioned the road. According to our community champion for this week, his achievements as a community leader is built on the ever relentless developmental efforts of Governor Akiwumi Ambody, a man he described as a role model to himself since his days as the state accountant general. To him, Ambody deserves more than a second term to serve the people of Lagos. Governor Akiwumi Ambody, I'm a, I'm a tagging a Democrat and he's a silent achiever. He doesn't make noise. But before you know it, everywhere is being beautified without making noise. So he's a silent achiever. He has been doing the job and giving more power to the CDAs so that all what he has been doing will get to the grassroots. We are a carrier of all his activities. And to this, it's even giving us the pride. One of these is what is happening now. You see... He, he is the first governor that will, uh, will recognize the CDAs by giving our chairman, that is the advisory council chairman. Immediately, he, he was signed as the governor of the Lagos state. The second day or the third day, he named Alaji Tajudin Kodri as second senior assistant to the governor on community matters, which is very encouraging. So, and on that note, we will still pray that years to come, the next election will appeal to the elders that they should give him that second chance to run, so that I will be able to work with him. Mm -hmm.